All right, everyone, it's Carly here from fueltobefit.com. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a peek, I guess, into um, how I got to where I'm at today. Because I know a lot of what gets posted is, you know, highlight reel. Or you see a lot of these these things that get posted that you kind of think in your head, you know, wow, um, you know, this person must work out all the time or they just only eat healthy and all that other stuff. And I just would be the first to tell you that's totally not me. <laughs> it never has been. It probably never will be. Um, but I just want to give you a little, um, I guess, yeah, just a peek back into my life um, and where I came from so that you guys I don't know, maybe that's for you, maybe it's not, maybe you are one of those people that's really just, you know, 100% committed all the time and, you know, high-fived you on that one, um, but I guess for me, I kind of come from this, you know, a few years ago, I really started this journey and I just thought that, you know, to be healthy, you really needed to, you know, first of all, go to the gym and, you know, you'd really dread it and you'd walk there or drive there or whatever. Um, I was I was living on campus at college at this time. So, you know, you'd walk there and then you'd wait in line for, for like a treadmill. And there'd be so many people and especially women waiting there for, for a treadmill. And once you finally got one, you'd get on and you'd just run and run and run until you basically wanted to like just stop and fly off the back of the treadmill so that you could be done. Um, and that was exercise to me. You know, I... I saw people who were lifting weights and that sort of thing, but it was just honestly scary to me. I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't know what those pieces of equipment were for. And, you know, so I tried them. I gave it a try. It was, you know, it was like nerve wracking with all these people there. And, you know, I tried some of the equipment and some of it didn't even work because I'm just, you know, so short that it just didn't fit and and I couldn't get a good workout so I went back to what I was doing but I just I hated it I dreaded it um you know I tried a few other things but couldn't really stick to it I tried some group exercise classes and those were awesome but it also you know meant that I really had to commit to coming out at, at a certain time and you know so that was that was kind of my mindset on exercise. And as far as nutrition goes, you know, I grew up in the family where it's the, you know, you have the clean plate club and we had dessert after lunch and after dinner. Um, you know, there were kind of no rules. Like we had a lot of healthy food there, but we also had a lot of unhealthy food there. And it was just, you know, this mindset that you kind of develop. And so in college, whenever I got there, I thought, well, you know, if you want to stay healthy and you want to lose weight or, you know, feel good about yourself, you need to basically, you know, eat salads and, and grilled chicken salads for every meal. And, you know, that's all you can have. Um, so, so I kind of had that mindset and I developed this huge guilt towards eating the foods that I loved, you know, the the pizza or, um, you know, anything really that just didn't sound, you know, healthy to me. So I had this terrible mindset. I had this guilt that was associated with, you know, not waking up and going to the gym six or seven days a week. I had this guilt associated with the foods that I was eating. And it just, I don't know, it, it really broke me down um, until I found really what worked for me. Um, and what worked for me was finding workouts that I could do at home on my own time in the comfort of my home. Um, that really, really was a huge game changer for me. And, you know, that's just a small piece of it because I think a huge piece was the food and the nutrition part of it. Um, so, you know, I, I decided to switch from my, you know, career path as a as an elementary school teacher. And I decided that, you know, since I love food and I love eating, I'm just going to, I'm going to study nutrition. And then I realized it was really, really science-based and I really had a hard time with it, but I struggled through it because I didn't know what else to do. And, you know, now looking back on it, I'm glad I did. Um, you know, fast forward a couple of years and I'm now a registered dietitian. Um, I'm also, you know, certified uh, as a group exercise trainer. And, you know, I just have this whole other, you know, idea of what healthy is. Um, you know, my food habits have changed completely. They, there's no longer that guilt associated with eating those foods. Um, you know, I, I don't say anything is off limits. You will often find me, you know, 
going out to ice cream or having a slice of pizza here and there, and it really is just about figuring out what works best for your lifestyle. I found a way of eating and a meal plan that really worked for me, you know, and, and I follow it only probably 80 or 90% of the time, and the rest of it is kind of just a free-for-all, and that works well for me. That works well for my mindset. You know, my exercise, like my workouts don't happen every day consistently. I really shoot for five days a week and if that doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I really listen to what my body tells me and because of all these changes that I've made and all of the, you know, experiences that I've had to go through, I really have found something that has gotten me to this point where I am definitely the healthiest and happiest person that I've been in a long, long time. Um, I've kind of pushed past a lot of those previous struggles and I really worked through a lot of a lot of the negative thoughts that were running through my head. So I just wanted to kind of fill you in um, on, on what I've been doing and kind of how I got here. Because we all start somewhere and we all, you know, are on this journey together. So if you ever have anything you'd like to talk to me about, you have any questions you'd like me to answer, whatever it is, you can go to fueledtobefit.com. And you can find links to how to contact me, how to find me on social media. You can find lots of articles or um, recipes on there and just more information on how I got to where I'm at. So I look forward to talking to you guys and hanging out with you another time. And until then, have a, have a great day.